I'd like to talk about biomimetics and modern technology. So biomimicry, as I'm sure you're aware of, Janine Benyus, um, is all about taking inspiration from nature to improve design. And it's really practical biology. Janine Benyus has a great talk on TED, some wonderful examples. I urge you to check it out. I'm just going to give you one example and then talk about a small idea that I've got. So nature's been designing for almost 3.8 billion years. We've been designing for about, well, less than 50,000. So biomimicry and the essence of it is, is how to, to try and galvanize on that 3.8 billion years. The whale um, has some bumps on its fins, okay? There's a scientist called Dr. Frank Fish who's studied these, and he's actually found, it's a bit counterintuitive, that, that it actually does increase the efficiency of those fins. How does it do that? Well, the whale, as it's uh, fishing, goes down really deep, and then it swims up to the surface. And as it's doing this, it blows bubbles. And it blows these bubbles into a net. And the tighter that it can bank, the more fish that it can catch, because the net is tighter. So actually, these, bu these bumps on its fins increase the efficiency of its fins. Now, Dr. Frank Fish thought, hmm, OK, that's clever. Now, he took that into design with turbines. And he's put bumps on blades. And those have actually improved the efficiency of turbines by up to 20%. I could go on giving examples all night. I'm not going to. Check out Janine Benis's talk. OK, so what I want to, to do is try and bring scientists and designers together. The designers increasingly work online. They work on web platforms, browsers. And that's where I really want to get the inspiration to. So if we can provide interesting information to them that's easily accessible, that, that'll be the, the ticket. Right. Biologists, they do a lot of research, they produce a lot of data. There's reams and reams of, of scientific data available online, accessible via keywords. So what we need to do is, is, is come up with an algorithm that can search the, the design documents for keywords and match them with the design, the, the keywords in, in, uh, in scientific journals. So that would then put the, the data readily accessible to the designers. But you don't really want text on the page. You need images, you need graphical representation, and photographers also massive, massive archives of natural history photographs that, with another algorithm, could be represented on the web platform next to the designer's work. So I'm going a bit quickly here, but imagine if these photos in the future became moving. You could have plants growing out of the margins. You could have insects walking across the page, and these don't look pretty or just pretty. They're actually relevant to the design work that's happening. So you're, you're developing a turbine, and you, you see a whale <laughs> going across your page. Just imagine it. Right? If we can put these technologies together with algorithms, we can hopefully come up with designs that are more, su more sustainable and tackle some of the global issues that we're now facing. If anybody knows about algorithms, could they please see me afterwards? Thank you.